video here is your Goodman and Crystal Gamma. The, this is chapter 11. The data is from page 368 of your certain textbook. So go to page 368 to table 11.6. The gamma equation is P subscript S minus P subscript D over or divided by P subscript S plus P subscript D. This is used for ordinal by ordinal tables. And how in the world do they figure these boxes out, like these like little subtables as they call them? I'm going to show you how to do that. So just, just relax and, and we'll look at it. For the first one, this 5. For the first, for the PS, they're working from the left, going diagonal down to the right. So the upper, the left, they're working from the left. So we're working from the far number on the left, which is a 5. And we're going down and to the right. Woo! There's a 4. That's where they got the 4. And you work across. There's a 2 to the right of that. That's how they got the 2. And you go down again. Oh, we can go down another one. And go to the right. There's a 1. And you go across. There's a 4. That's where they got the 4. Now for the next one, I'm working now to the right, across the row. There's a 1. Oh, if we go diagonal, there's a 2. And then underneath there, that's a 4. That's how they got the 4 for that block there. And then we work our way. We look here, 1. Ah, oh, let's go to the right down. Oh, there's nothing there. That's why that one's not on there. There's no number. So then this one, a two. You go to the next row, you're at the left. There's a two. You're working on an angle down to the right, you have a one. And then to the right, you have a four. Cool. Now over here, the four. Let's look on the angle. Oh, there's a four. Yes. Now we look at the rest of them. Two angle, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's a zero and a one and a four. There's nothing when you angle cross down like that. So. Now that we know how they got the numbers for the boxes, now we're going to figure out how to calculate them. Yay. Okay. How you calculate them here is the 5. You have 5 times. It's going to be 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4, which 5 times 4 plus, first I go 4 plus 2 equals 6, 1 plus 4 equals 5, and then 6 plus 5 equals 11. So 5 times 11 equals 55. And then for the next one, 1 times 2 plus 4, you're adding the ones are in the boxes. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. 1 times 6 equals 6. The next one, 2 times 1 plus 4. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 2 times 5 equals 10. And then this one, there's no other numbers in boxes. There's only one 4, so it's 4 times 4 equals 16. Now for the last stage, to figure out the P, the subscript S, what we're going to do is... 55 plus 6 plus 10 plus 16. Those are totals from each one of those we figured out. So 55 plus 6 plus 10 plus 16 equals 87. So the P subscript S equals 87. Cool. Now let's go to the P subscript D. Think of this as you're um, working from the downward up. Instead of angling down to the right, we're angling down to the left. So for this one, it's a 4. So 4, and you angle down to the left. Well, let me first show. The reason why there's no 2 is if the 2, if you angle down to the left, there's no number there. So the first one working across, and of course the lower column is the bottom one. There's nothing under it. So this bottom row. So this, this row here, the 2 has nothing. So that's where they started with the 4. Angle down to the left is 0. And then you work to the right. Ooh, there's a 2. If you angle down to the left, boom, there's a 1 and a 0. That's how they came up, and they wrote it the same order as here. There's a 0 on the left, the 1 on the right. And then we're going up to the next row, the 5. Go down to the left, boom, nothing. There's no number there. The 2, you go down to the left, ah, there's a 2. I mean a 1. The 1, you go down to the left, there's a 2. And underneath that, there's a 0. That's how they come up with 1, 2, and 0. Again, that's a 1. Going down to the left is a 2. And underneath that's a 0, because that's angling. So in the last one here, let's look. There's a 1. Boom! You angle down to the left. You have a 4 and a 1 underneath it. That's how they have 1, 4, and 1. And then you go over here. You have a 2 and a 0 under it. So that's how they come up with a 2 and a 0. And calculating this is the same as pretty much calculating the PS as far as how you work with the boxes, the number outside the box, and the numbers in the box. 
So this would be 4 times 0, because there's nothing to add to 0 to, equals 0. And this one is 2 times 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 equals 1, so 2 times 1 equals 2. For this one here, it's 1 times 2 plus 0. 2 plus 0 equals 2, so that's 1 times 2 is 2. And this one is 1 multiplied by 2 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1. If you're adding all the numbers in the boxes. So, again, I separate it just in case I trip up on my addition. So, so the professor can see. 1 times 2 plus 4 is 6. 0 plus 1 is 1. So, 6 plus 1 is 7. 1 times 7 is 7. Now, to figure out the bottom part here, what it is is we're adding now those numbers together. So, it's... From each section, we just figured out. So it's PD equals 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 7. Okay? So 0 plus 2 is 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 7 is 11. So the PD equals 11. Yes! We have the stuff we need to calculate gamma now. Because gamma is P subscript S minus P subscript D over P subscript S plus P subscript D. Notice these are the same numbers corresponding to go down, like the PS is on the top and the bottom, and the PD is on the top and the bottom of the um, division. It's just one's being subtracted, one's being added. So the PS, P subscript S is 87, as we calculated over here. So it's 87 minus the P subscript D, which is 11, over P subscript S, 87 plus the P subscript D, 11. So what I do is 87 minus 11 equals 76 over 87 plus 11, which is 98. There you go, 98. And 76 divided by 98 equals 0 0.7755. What we're going to do is round this up to the second number, which is the hundreds place. So your gamma equals 0 0.78. And remember when we were talking about the relationship as far as this, as far as 0 saying like, yo, there's like nothing going on here, and 1 saying there's definitely a, a positive relationship, which is could be 1. This could be positive or negative one, but of course it would be like over that way then. But, okay, so let's say 5 is in the center, and we have a 0 0.78. So this is somewhere around here. We, we do have a relationship going on here. So the gamma, again, equals 0 0.78. This is how to calculate, how to work your um, formula, and how to come up with these subtable things they have in the book, how it works. So again, this is Goodman and Crew Schools Gamma.